happy long soap or whatever day this is. Oh no, I'm literally just getting up. I found something on the way to work. I got the shower running in the background to warm the water up. I'm about to hop in and take like a two second shower because I am late, I'm late. And I gotta meet my boss this morning at the office to do some things. Crazy guy, I booked it, y'all. I uploaded my video last night for day whatever. Cause y'all know I don't know what day I'm on. I don't have no idea. I just know I've been uploading every day since the first. That's all I know. But anywho, I tried to upload my video last night before I lay down. I didn't go back to check the status and I just looked just now and it's still loading. So it's gonna be a few minutes late because I ain't got time to check it right now to really figure out what's going on. I gotta get in the shower. Like I got to get in the shower. Cause I don't want to be like 30 minutes late trying to get there and meet that girl at the office. So <laughs> I got like a 30 minute grace period. So I'd be really taking advantage of that. Um, but since I meet my boss, I don't want to take advantage of that today. So I'm about to hop in the shower, um, get dressed, prep August food, walk him, feed him and roll out. Everything else is packed. Cause I packed myself up last night. I think if not, I just got to throw my computer in my purse and run out. Cause yeah. I am tired. I lay down early, like I told y'all I was gonna do, and had a restless night. And had a restless night. I had a restless night, and I'm like, come on, bro. Like I laid down at nine thirty, I think, maybe nine fifteen. Like pretty much after I finished recording last night and finished editing and put the thing up on the dag on YouTube, I lay down. Took my sleep feel everything. Still was restless, so I'm tired. <sighs> so, I hope this day goes very smoothly. I have to go to work at my office job, and then I have to do two clients at the salon. So, yeah. Heart. She said, I'm sorry, Mr. Madu. We are actually sold out. We're fully committed. And I was like, oh, I try to stay saved. I said, this reservation has been booked for several months. She said, no, I'm sorry. We are fully committed. I said, I'm very calm. I said, can I please speak to your manager? Can I speak to your supervisor? All of a sudden, the manager comes out. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Madu. Move, girl. I'm so sorry. She's new. Oh, here's the reservation right here, Mr. Madu. In fact, I'm going to upgrade you to an executive suite. How did I go from about to be on the street to an executive suite? Because somebody with some power and authority knew which button they were supposed to push oh i hope you get so annoyed by what the enemy is doing to your mind and your family that you say i need to speak to the supervisor i need to speak to the manager of heaven the god who is the alpha and the omega the first and the last hallelujah he's the ultimate authority oh i'm telling you church you know he's the ultimate authority. Your faith can go to a whole nother level. You don't got a faith problem. You got an awareness of his authority problem. Can I take a few more minutes? Pastor Joel said I got all the time I want, but watch this. <laughs> no, I'm almost done. But I want you to see something, watch this. Please don't miss that Jairus was the first one to get to Jesus. So this woman's healing was an interruption to Jesus's journey to Jairus's house. Oh, don't forget who got to Jesus first, Jairus did. He said, Jesus, please, my baby girl is dying. Will you come to the house? Jesus said, I'll go. Can you imagine the joy that filled his heart when Jesus said, I'll go to your house? But the Bible is clear that there is a crowd of people there that day, huge crowd. So Jairus, has got to get Jesus through the crowd to his house to heal his baby girl. And time is of the essence. So I can see how it went down. I can see Jairus going through the crowd and making sure Jesus is behind him. Come on, you. oh, you said you'll come, come on. Okay, good, good, move, move. Oh, you still there, good, move, move. No, I got to him first, move. And he's pushing people out the window. He looks back and he keeps checking. All of a sudden he looks back and he loses Jesus in the crowd. He's like, what in the world? I told him this was an emergency. What is it? And he finds Jesus in a crowd of people. Talking about, who touched me? 
And Jarvis is like, are you serious right now? I just told you this is an emergency. You up here playing 21 questions. What is wrong with you? Oh, come on. Don't act like you ain't never been there before. Don't act like you ain't never told Jesus. This is an emergency. I need you to hurry up. And he seemed to just be taking his time. He says, who touched me? And then pauses and said, I'll wait. Wait. Who knows how long that took? And finally, this woman sheepishly comes through the crowd and Jesus, the compassionate Savior, starts to dialogue with her while Jairus is waiting. Ooh, and he's just taking his time. The Bible says that she told him the whole truth. Another version says she told him her whole story. Whew, she <laughs> told him. <laughs> Her. Oh, she. <laughs> Ladies, I love you. Have you ever had a lady tell you her whole story? Don't be in a hurry. Get you a comfortable seat. Her whole story. Oh, you want a dude to tell you his whole story? He'd be like, I'm good. Not a lady. How long is this conversation going? And I can see the steam coming off of Jairus' head. Like, are you serious? Oh, girl, get your healing and go. Oh, Peter, you're always running your mouth. This would be a good time to tell your boy to hurry up. Oh, isn't that frustrating? Isn't it frustrating when Jesus makes you wait on your miracle? Not only that, he had to watch her get healed. Whew. What do you do when Jesus makes you watch somebody else get their miracle while you're waiting on yours? And you got that fake smile on your face like, oh, you got healed? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Can we go now? All right, so me and my boss are here today. And she's um, showing me keys and stuff. I have a tour around um, now. I'm trying to wait for her a little bit in this office. I don't have to go upstairs and come back down. But I do have to run up and grab some supplies for the coffee area. So I guess if I miss her, I just tell her to meet me down here so I can show her the three rooms that are available and I think I also need to get two more sets of keys um for the two offices that are not unlocked as of right now um I probably won't be at this office very long because I'm ready to go to the other one because I have something else I have to do too and then I want to finish making sure my YouTube video uploaded and then I gotta look at some stuff in DC and I also have to reach out to a client that reached out to me yesterday a potential client um, that's looking for a rental. So I gotta make sure I have time to do that as well before the day is over. But at work, getting things done, made it on time, even a few minutes early, and I'm happy about that. Because I've been late lately, taking advantage of that grace period. Okay. I literally walk back and forth every day, all day in this building, up and down, 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 the stairs and the elevators, every day. My all black little one. Lunch is secured. We got kava for today. Had kava the other day and it was like this lamb, the braised lamb, but today I got the spicy um, lamb balls, beef balls, and they were bomb, so got that today. About to tear this up. So I just got off the phone before I grabbed my food with my client that I've been going back and forth with. Not back and forth like in a bad way, but back and forth about her situation and her transaction, her new home construction. I just talked to her briefly. Um, I'm going to meet with her and her mom in the next week or so to do our listing appointment, which is not a listing appointment. We're going to just do the listing documents for her mom's house. And then she's trying to rent her house out. So we're going to probably wait closer until the house is pretty much built to establish that. Um, so when I say established that, I mean established like the paperwork, marketing, etc., for the actual unit for rental. Um, I know the rent in the area is like roughly around 3500 so we're gonna probably shoot for that. Um, but yeah, um, 
So it's busy morning, kind of, sort of, just mainly with talking, not necessarily like doing anything. I'm headed over to the second office where I'm gonna obviously again eat my lunch, but then also talk to a, a tenant and try to get some resolve around her situation. And then I have some research to do personally for myself. Um, and yeah. This is my last cup of coffee for a minute. I said my last cup of coffee was like a month or two ago, but then I decided that I really, really wanted coffee and I went to Whole Foods or one of these stores around here and got me some creamer, the Chobani creamer, which is bomb, okay? I got the white chocolate and the French vanilla and I've been mixing the two together, absolutely amazing. But, mad sugar, mad sugar, mad sugar. We're cutting it out, remember? So, this is my last cup. I just finished the last of the, the creamer. I didn't wanna waste no money. So I was drinking it. So we're not buying no more creamer. Okay. No more coffee. We're going to focus on teas. Herbal teas and fasting. Okay. Y'all going to do it with me? Because when I tell you this cup of coffee is so good. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. So good. So good. Get this together. Very natural install. Can't even tell that this is not her hair, honey. We want to straighten it. Give her a little silky smooth. Yes. All done. Nice and smooth. Back to normal. Can't even tell where the extensions start or end, honey. This is her hair, period. Invisible. Single web extensions, baby, okay? Get your life. Ow, 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 ow!